So recently I've been getting into using surface mount devices uh, to condense my PCBs. Um, but I'm noticing that there's it's really hard to apply solder paste to small chips um, like the A6281, which is an LED or an RGB LED driver. Um, applying the solder paste with a syringe is basically impossible and very air prone. So a technique that people use is uh, stencil. Uh, so it's like plastic or metal and it's got a bunch of holes where the pads are. Uh, you lay it down on the circuit and you basically scrape the solder paste into the holes. It sticks to the board. You peel the stencil off and then you, uh, you place your components and then you cook it. Um, and so I, I'm figuring, hey, uh, I don't have to buy one of these. I have a machine that I can cut these out with. Um, so I went looking around, I found a user land program uh, that will actually generate the G-code from, or the G-code to, to cut a stencil from a circuit. Um, the problem is the thing didn't work that great. And so this sent me down this long road of, uh, you know, extracting all the data from Eagle, putting it into JSON, uh, loading it up with uh, Node, and, you know, processing it that way. So what I'm going to show you now is... No gerbil, uh, version 002, communicating with something I call Eagle Punch. Okay, and Eagle Punch accepts um, the run a, a run flag, which allows you to run like a script. And in this case, we're going to do stencil. And if we start up Hookio, we'll do this guy just to uh, show what's going on. And then start up the gerbil REPL. And then we run this, you know, Eagle Punch, uh, generate me a stencil. And this is Hookio enabled. So as soon as I run this, it's going to start, it just pushes the G code directly to gerbil and starts executing it on the machine. So, I mean, this takes a little while. But, I mean, I'm getting progress updates down here. I mean, I think it'd be really cool to have a some sort of GUI thing that pops up that says, hey, you know, we're 30% done with this process. Um, if I unplug USB to kind of stop the world, you know, it's like doing something wrong, uh, it just stops. If I plug it back in, it the buffer is cleared, so there's no mistake. It's not going to continue. It's not going to start back up and, you know, chop people's fingers off. It's going to stop, and I can continue. Um, I can I can rehome the thing and rerun uh, the eagle punch command if I need to. So, as it stands right now, the G code generator is uh, kind of minimal. But very soon it will it will do a bit with compensation and all that fun stuff. And that's it for now. Thanks.